Welcome to the video on the digitallife.com. In this video we're going to have a quick look at TP-Link 3G, 4G wireless router. So, uh, many people use these uh, USB 3G, 4G dongles. So you plug it into your PC and then you can get on the internet when you're out and about. Great idea. Um, I've had one for quite some time. But not so good if you want to connect with your iPad or your Surface or your Android tablet or whatever because there's no USB port for them to work with. So that's where uh, TP-Link's uh, 3G router comes into it. So this is in effect a small portable unit, you plug your 3G stick in and it turns it into a Wi-Fi hotspot so uh, you can use it, connect all your devices together, share out the connection. Uh, so for one device, you can instead of just one device like when you plug into your laptop, you can have multiple devices and very handy if you're travelling. So what I'm going to do is have a quick look at what comes in the box and connect it up and see how it works. So here's the device we've got, um, it's got a network port in there and uh, we've got a USB on there for the, the stick and a couple of settings which I'll have a look at those in a sec. Instruction documents and driver DVD, driver CD I should say, Ethernet cable. This can be powered by, this is powered by a battery making it portable but there's also a micro uh, USB port to charge it up with. So there's the space for the battery. So it's like a phone battery. Actually, so I'll stick that in there. Cover back up. Right, I plugged it in now just to charge it because it's the first time I've uh, using this, but you don't normally need to leave it plugged in for it to work because it's got a battery. So let's uh, switch it on. I should say there's three modes to this as well. There's the uh, router mode, the wireless router mode, which we're using now. But there's also a travel adapter mode where you can use the Ethernet port to take an existing internet connection and share that out. So kind of the reverse of what we're doing now. So if you're in a hotel uh, and you've got Ethernet plugged with internet, you can plug it into here and it will then share that out to your devices like your iPad or whatever. Okay, so I've got my Surface connected here. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got. So if I go into the wireless settings, and there we can see the TP-Link, so I'm going to connect to that. So the wireless key is actually under the cover as well, so I need to flip this off. Okay, so I put in the IP address 192.168.1.0, and uh, then we can log in to the device. So you can hear this, here you can see the setup. And uh, I've got a quick setup. Okay, so we're in 3G, 4G mode. Um, the other options are 3G, 4G mode with the one as a as a backup. So you can actually use the uh, cable, uh, physical cable, as a backup internet connection. One preferred, uh, which is probably a really good way of doing it. So you can plug an Ethernet lead in that would give you your network, and then the 3G uh, works as a hotspot really good idea and one only so just use it as a as an um, a Wi-Fi device so you through the setup here you pick your 3G connection I'm at O2 contract so I'll leave that set so let's see if that works and there we go so we're now using this uh, USB device as a a wireless uh, internet connection seems to be working pretty well. Um, some get variable speed when I'm up here in the office, but it's probably a, a decent 3G speed. And it does seem to be okay. So there we go. I'm on. I'm on the uh, internet now with the Surface. So in this case, I could have. I couldn't use this USB dongle because there's no drivers for Windows RT for it. Uh, but it, I also could go and uh, pick up my Nexus or iPad and connect through to the internet as well, sharing the connection between the two and create my own wireless network. Let's have a, look, a quick look at some of the other things you can do with it. I've got the status there, so I'll show them we've got LAN, uh, 192.168.0 network, we've got wireless and we've got 3G. Uh, so we've only got 20% signal strength where I've got the, the unit at the moment, and uh, but it's all connected. So like I said, we've got the WPS, 
we've got network settings so we can do what I was saying before about making it the sort of a fallback router with 3G and, and WAM. Um, we can adjust the things like the wireless settings and the keys. We've got DHCP settings, um, port forwarding enabled, uh, so we can set that up if we want to. Virtual servers, quite interesting. As you can have it, especially if you're running a a server you've got on a flaky connection, and you can set this up to be wireless backup LAN when it's got an internet connection, and use port forward on there. Uh, we can set up parental control by adding MAC address filtering to it, which is a nice idea. Um, we've got access control, so we can set policies up. We've even got uh, bandwidth control, which we can enable when it's using the ADSL or uh, or the or the uh, 3G connection. And uh, so we've got firmware update tools and things like that. All right, it's better. We've now got 100%. I've just uh, Move the dongle around a little bit, and I've got 100% signal strength. So I wonder what speed we'll get from this. So I get about two meg uh, download through 3G, which is not bad. Um, that's probably about as, as good as I'm going to get with 3G. If I had a 4G dongle running on E, something like that, I can get a lot faster speed, maybe 10 meg. But it's ironically, it's actually faster than my home ADSL anyway. So maybe a good idea for me to use this device. So that's the TP-Link wireless. N router, um, so nice little portable device. I really like the idea that uh, you know when you're travelling, you've got this. This is your this is your complete network using your 3G dongle. Um, what I also like about this, which is pretty kind of interesting, is that you can plug an Ethernet cable in from your existing network. Um, so let's say you've got. Uh, a location where you've got a, a fairly flaky ADSL connection or you just want to make sure you are guaranteed that uptime you can connect this up put your internet connection into there and then you've got a wireless network that's using your normal ADSL connection it goes down and it will use this as a backup and, and you can also do the reverse as well so it, it's a nice little so solution very portable and if you're travelling uh, an ideal solution I actually have one of the uh, a MiFi uh, that I normally have a SIM card in, or you can use your phone. Uh, a lot of phones, like uh, a lot of smartphones, now obviously do the network tethering. But this is a bit of a probably a more robust solution. It's got its own battery, uh, which you can charge up as well. So when you're tethering, that can use quite a bit of battery from your phone. Um, so having this, you're not going to drain your battery. I know one of the issues I have when I'm travelling is you don't want to zap all the battery of your phone uh, in case you're going to need it while you're travelling with the 3G connection so this would be a handy device to do that as well uh, and I like the different modes as well that it's got and even the fact that it's just a wireless router to create your own little uh, network up and uh, if you're in a hotel and you've got an ethernet cable and you know Wi-Fi plug that in and you've got your own little network uh, so it's quite handy if you've got your iPad, your Nexus or whatever you want to move data between the devices so that's the TP-Link uh, 3G wireless end router price and uh, availability details in the show notes a very nice little device and very handy for the travelers thanks for watching this video and i'll see you on another one